sumu saa hii mkinipa watu milioni moja hapa hivi nimefanya kazi kubwa kuku crusade ya 50000 hiyo mtu anielewa sasa hiyo kijasa watu Kenyatta Sports Ground eh? 50000 uniambie comparison na hii mkutano ya saa hii nitakwambia hii mkutano ya saa hii is better to me than the 50000 labda mwezi kuelewa ni kwa nini because i know where i put value i know where i put value to me you are the best i want to provoke you father i know you know your, your bibles philip is casting out demons in samaria city cripples are walking everywhere he becomes the talk of the town alafu mungu anamwambia ondoka anamuondoa kisumu hotel ya ya, 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 ya samaria inaitwa imperial tuseme philip alikuwa anaamini prosperity alikuwa anakaa imperial hotel Eh. Yeah. Leo zazu. Na kusema ni kubwa, Mungu ambie funga, akafunga. I'm taking you to a better place. Alimpeleka wapi? Angalia, angalia hapa, alimpeleka wapi? Wapi? Jangwani. Kuna mkenya atatoka kwa kusema kubwa aende kwa mtu mmoja? We became so egotistic. We became so bad. Tuna tamaa ingine kama shetani. Philip anaambiwa toka city kwenda wapi? Jangwani. Ana anaambiwa unaona hiyo mtu anakuja yeye. Na hiyo farasi na hiyo gari kimbiza yeye. Evangelist reporting Evangelist Philip in a one man school said chasing chasing a sinner. Hiyo hiyo report utaitoa? Nyinyi wa Kenya angalia hapa. Hiyo report utaitoa? Hiyo ushuhuda utaitoa na imeandikwa. Ina imeandikwa. Hebu niwaulize. Philip alikuwa mtu mkubwa sana alipokuwa na crusade, sasa ni mdogo alipokuwa na Ethiopia. Why don't we become Bible Bible based people? Why? Tuna tamaa. Tamaa kubwa sana. Na hiyo tamaa ndio maana Mungu atutumie. That's why God is not using us because of tama. Mimi nilikataa. Nikakataa. Hata kwa mkisi. Ahusi hapa kusia angalia hapa. Nikiona nyeri naitwa mzee jamba ya mwadani. Nikija Luoland maana ya thiwa. Nikienda kwa Waluya kuna ni hayo sio kayo hayo walikosea wakanita kayo lakini ni hayo why do i fit everywhere is because i rejected tribalism kwa nini mjaluo anatoka kisumu anapita nairobi anakwenda canada america ngambo anarudi anarudi straight kisumu hawezi kwenda hapo hapa hapo tu think kama kuna wakikuyu ubiri because okuyo kwarenga Nyimbo si wajaluo ni hivi wame wakikuyu hawakoki kama kuna pesa hiyo ndio wajaluo wanasema hata mkikuyu akija kisumu kubiri atafuta wakikuyu wenzake mimi najua mkikuyu akitoka kubiri kisumu atafuta wakikuyu wenzake kwa nini na ameokoka. Hao hawajakuwa watumishi wa Mungu, ni watumishi wao wenyewe. Ninyi kataa hiyo. Ni vijana kataa hiyo mambo. Kataa hiyo ujinga wa wazee, kataa, kataa. Ingia katika Biblia, kataa hiyo ujinga. Kataa. Najua mna maswali mengi sasa ya kuniuliza. I know you will attack me if I give you time. Kuna mtu ambaye ana swali. Uliza. Storoki. Wa mama. Najua amjazoea kuulizwa kuuliza maswali. Amjazoea. Mnakuwa dictated tu. 
This time I give you time to ask questions. Do you have a question? Kabla si watangazia. Baraka. Au na wakopo kukuliza swali utawanakata weni mbaya. Sio mbaya. Pasta za mfukuza kanisa. Pasta za mfukuze. Antaka kuelewa. Kuna maswali? Ndiyo. Mwaja mbili. Smuma. Uliza kwa sauti kubwa. school of ministry we will come to you later and we will bring to you the forms to fill and will give you knowledge from the word my books there Maria uzia hawa wa ubiri kila kitabu shilingi miambiri peke yake miario kende iko vitabu ya miatano miatatu Iko pale kitabu ya 500 500. Ulizia hapa na, na msitangaze. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like ah. Mose amenunua ya 500. Tano unge wewe ni wewe ungetoa 1000. Lakini msitangazie. The spirit, the spirit of our father tells me share with these people. Stay close to this man. You will hear about our Jokai school ministry. We are helping thousands of people worldwide. Anyone else please? There was one here. Yes, Bana. Okay. What is the tanas? Now that you are going to work with God, not with the supervisors. What if they tag us as rebellious people? What are we going to do? If they charge you as rebellious, Are you rebellious? Exactly. So if you if you react as though you are rebellious, then you are the one who is wrong. Why am I saying this? I'm not saying this go and turn your back on your leader. I'm saying go and do God's will and God will work with the leader. I didn't say go and say no no no. Stay under authority, but do God's will and God will protect you. Yes mama swali yako I like to know the purpose of anointing oil Sasa mama sasa nisikize mama Ngoja kidogo anointing oil hiyo kwanza is a wrong terminology there is no such a thing in the bible as anointing oil I'm a theologian, not just an ordinary preacher who preaches from the head. I'm a researcher of the Bible. There's no such a thing as anointing oil. No. There is only oil. There's no anointing. Anointing oil is Kenyan. There's no such a thing as anointing oil. To begin with, take that off. As it's not there. Call if anybody is sick at home. If anybody is at home, let him call the elders. Not even a pastor, not even a prophet. The elders, let them anoint him with oil. Not anointing oil. Let them anoint. Let them anoint him with oil. Okay. And then the prayer of faith shall not the not the oil that we heal the sick. Then what's the purpose of oil? It is a type of the Holy Spirit falling upon the sick. Okay. Now I teach you this. Moses 
was ordered to anoint only priests and kings. Not everybody. We have been made priests and kings by God himself. No one is supposed to add anything upon us. If I ordain you as a reverend or as a pastor, I will anoint you with oil to separate you. Not to heal you, not to make you holier. As a sign of separation for a special reason. Oil is not an object of security, prosperity. It has nothing to do with your security. Nothing to do with anything. It is a sign. When we baptize people in water, water does not save them. We baptize them because they have been saved. So water adds nothing. It's a sign of what is in the heart. The oil is the same. So if you have any oil in your house, kwenda tupa yuchupa kwacho. That is the only way to, mama, that's the only way to avoid it. If you still have it, you are actually holding idols in your house. And Jehovah is against idolatry. Don't keep a kitamba, oil, kifungua, anything. Kuna, kuna wengine wamekua wana kifagio. Kuna wengine wana uza majani ya miti. Leaves in Nairobi. Leaves. And they put them in the wallet to attract money. Na moja ambaye ni chief apostle of money mekufa tu, mara moja, sikumbili tu wakafa. Ambaye alikuwa ni chief apostle of money. Wameanza kufa pole pole. Au hao hao. Hao hao wana wawuzia yu vitu. Ukiangalia sana, hawana ujumbe mwingine, wana ujumbe tuwa pesa. Hawana ujumbe mwingine ni? Na laana. Na laana. Na nyinyi ambao mna vitamba, na vifunguo, na vifagio, you are actually holding idols in your house. And God is against idolatry. Thou shall not make any image, anything. Anything. The name of Jesus is enough. I'm challenging you as leaders. Go throw that away. Don't transfer it to the people. These are innocent people of God you are leading away, astray. You begin to throw them away. Don't walk with oil. I don't do it myself. I don't. Any other question? I came to Kisum. Make use of me. Please, please make use of me. Jana niliona watu anatatizika hapa Pastor Moses. Watu wa niangalie hapa jana watu usiku wananiangalia hivi. Kwa nini inakuwa ngumu nikitoa pesa kwa kwa wajane jana? Niambie. Answer me please. Tell these people what happened yesterday. Tell them what happened. Now yesterday the man of God challenged uh, us. In fact, he began by giving money to a widow, and I felt that we should uh, give to them all. So uh, I don't think they were suspicious, but it was a good challenge. Why were they looking at me like I'm a stranger? People ask money. People ask money. In fact, meetings are uh, organized to raise money, but uh, it was different. We, uh, it's not a kind of meeting that uh, uh, people expected. People organize meetings to raise money from people. Uh, and actually that has been a great problem in our city. And we are praying that that spirit will be killed. That when people come together, they come to receive from God and to be impacted to the, to the power of God. If I can understand you well, because I went, I went wondering... The faces of the people were so amazing. I could see they were looking like others were talking to each other. They have never seen it in church. You heard them say. Say that. Um, one of the brothers here told us that they were waiting for you. They were waiting for your message to head towards money. They were waiting. Some of them were, had prepared their money. So I missed money yesterday. <laughs> Hi. I could have gone home a millionaire last night. Wow. But hear me. If your heart is on money, you will get money. 
But before you realize it, money has you. So when you preach, you preach with the aim of getting money. No matter how anointed you are, you preach with the aim of getting money. God will bless you. In other words, blessing is money. There are people who are so much money minded, but they are not blessed. Mungu anaweza kuruhusu upate pesa nyingi unaziona hivi lakini tumbo imetoboka. Daktari anasema kula mboga ya mchicha bila kimbo. Na pesa unazo, isiweke chumvi. Na pesa unazo. Mungu ana, unaziona lakini Mungu anakataa. So please don't put your heart on money. Otherwise money will have you. The Bible tells me I was in jail, you came to see me. I was hungry. I was naked. As much as you did this to my own, you did it. Now enter the kingdom. There's no place in the Bible where it's written, Jokayo prayed for a, a cripple in Nigeria, he walked. Jokayo came to Kisumu, he opened blind eyes in the name of the Lord. Hakuna mahali meandikwa hata kidogo. Imeandikwa tu, he fed a widow. He fed orphan children. Iyo imeandikwa. Na ukifanya hivyo, Jehovah is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. One more person wants to make use of me? Yes, sister. Uko mbali, sema kwa sauti kubwa. Au kuja karibu. Okay, I wanted you to, if you can please tell us the importance of the Lord's table, taking the Lord's table, and also another question, how the ministering spirits, the, the ministering spirit to the heirs of salvation, the angels, minister to us in today's life as a Christian. The first thing when it comes to ministering spirits, angels, don't worship them. They will not accept your worship. They will never accept. They will tell you we are just messengers come to help you. Finished. They can scare even your killers. They can. When that matatu did not roll and you were inside, it was the angels of God doing it. Did you get that? Yes. Most of you have got ten reasons why you should be dead now. More reason why you should be dead than you are alive. Angels of God were there to help you. Amen, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So please, don't worry about that. Don't pray that angels come to help you. They are the ones who are fighting to come to your, to your aid. They are running towards you. Don't pray. Don't pray. They desire to run to you. You keep doing God's will and they will run to you. Don't pray to them. Don't pray that they may come. Because when an angel visits and we hear Malaika amewekan kwa damu ingine kisumu tutakuja kwako tueleze ili tukuabudu wewe. When mtakatifu sana even an angel talks to you. Itageuka kwa idolatry. Okay? So don't worship angels. They are there to serve you in many many ways. They scare witches. They do. Angels don't heal. It's easy to know. But the Lord's table, do you talk about the Lord's table? Okay. The importance is as often as you do this, you announce my death until I return. And Paul says, those who take unworthily die early and live sickly and many of them are weak. Why? Because they take unworthily. What is unworthy? Unworthy means without designing the body. And the body is the church. So, ukizikia, kesho ni meza ya buwana, watakatifu wata muweta yale, wala ambawa mjaolewa, musiku uja karibu, mubiri kama huyo haju ino la mungu. Ata kama uri kajana, unakula. Ata kama uja batizwa, unakula. Unakoka sayi, unakula sayiyo. Ni meza ya buwana, si meza ya mubiri. Okay? Na sasa ni hivi. Damu ambayo ile kikombe in, ni kielelezo. Mkate ambao ni kielelezo cha mwili wa Kristo. 
kwa kupigwa kwake tumepona mkate uliovunjwa kimacho ili tukaweze kuelewa kikombe damu iliyomwagika tunasafishwa na dhambi zetu zote sio kidogo kidogo za zamani za sasa hata za mbele tumefunikwa ni conscious ya binadamu ndio manake na hiyo ni kielelezo kumtangazia shetani bwana anarudi amen tunajitangazia bwana amen shetani sikiza bwana amen tuwezi kuja huko nani mwingine ana swali mama asimama hapa ladies first Okay I have a question sir I believe in giving totally I believe in giving in the house of God but there are times a servant of God can come and tell you something that God is saying about your life and sometimes it it could actually be true because it's something you've been going through but the what happens is he tells you for this thing to come to pass or for this thing for God to change this thing you have to give a particular thing or a particular amount of money what do you do My dear sister I'm I'm stopping you from corrupting your mouth. I just I even wanted to slap her. That even if he says things and they are true he is using familiar spirits. He is using spirits not the holy spirit. The holy spirit does not come to tell me your secrets. The Holy Spirit covers the people's lives. He doesn't come to open people's sins and then they don't glorify God. Love covers a multitude of our father covers us. These are familiar spirits. To begin with, that's familiar? A mistake. Secondly, Jehovah does not answer when you give money. You are buying the answer. That preacher was trying to make you bribe God. And Jehovah does not allow corruption. He is a liar. He is not a preacher of God, he is a preacher of his own stomach. And now when you hear a man like that, turn your back on him and don't even shake his hand. God is not going to condemn you. God is going to bless you twice. Don't fear him. Stay away. Turn your back. Turn your back on him and look for a pastor who is honorable. I'm sorry you called him the man of God. He's not the man of God. He's the man of his own stomach. Buenas <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask a question but before I ask a question would you allow me to ask you to clarify for me something before yeah, I ask the sure. question? That's why I'm here. Okay you are talking of uh, meza ya bwana that anybody is allowed yes. now for example I'm a Pentecostal yes uh, this uh, an occasion where meza ya bwana iko lakini ni wa Catholic ndio wanapeana am I allowed to take it usiende kwa meza ya wakatoliki hawajaokoka meza ya wakatoliki is an idol Usiende kwa meza kwanza wewe ndio ume, umekosea kwenda kwa meza ya Katoliki kwa hivyo usiende sasa hatuwezi kuongea hiyo sasa hiyo yao si meza Okay my question was about the seed Seed Yes planting a seed Sikia hiyo <laughs> My question was about the planting a seed uh, I remember in a, an occasion when I was uh, I was told I was preached about planting a seed and then it happened that i i gave my suit and then after after some time somebody gave me a a, a suitcase of clothes i don't know what what do you mean what what does that mean now there's a, a occasion also again that i gave a sofa set and then after some time somebody again gave me a better sofa set than i gave now stand there stand there you have been deceived is not is not lied to 
deception. When Moses threw a stick in Egypt, that was nothing to the magicians. Theirs became snakes too. So miracles are not a proof that a man is a man of God. There are miracles happening today which are from the supernatural world. Demonic miracles. I have been to Japan where a person looked at a spoon. He looked at it until it bent by looking at it. In my presence. Okay? Brother, there is no such a thing as planting seed sofa sets. You needed that sofa set yourself. The other one came so that you may become a slave to the one who receives. You were given back so that you may become a puppet, your slave. I've answered you honestly and like a man to man. A young man came in Kitui and gave his telephone. He see me then. I said to the pastor, return it to him. Agata. Oh, I'm sewing. I'm going to stack it. Stack you. Stack you. telephone. I'm going to. Chukua. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going girlfriend and a girlfriend. And I see him where. I'm going to communicate with him. I'm going to say, I'm going to communicate with him. I'm going to say, 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 I'